As we go into 2021, I thought now is a good time to go through all the stuff I've got that I've never found a place for in a video. And I've picked 10 such items, and today we shall look at them all. Beginning with something I want to get out of the way. It's a bloody Funko Pop of the Queen, because this is what the world needed. Hang on, you can't quite see it. There we are, front light activated. That, that's much worse. She looks kind of haunted, possibly just by herself conceptually, I don't know. It's got to the point where, like, every concept or creature that has ever existed in human history has five different coloured Funko Pops made of it. Oh well, there we are. It's, it's the Queen. So if you're a big fan of her many franchises, such as, I don't know, Prince Charles, you can have a Queen Elizabeth thing look, and you can also get the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who I believe, like, somehow opted out of being royal? and aren't royal family anymore, so that may, maybe that one's rare now. I don't know. <clears throat> this product is our fun characterization of the icon it represents, but it has not been endorsed or approved by any member of the royal family. It does not have any connection with, and is not a type, and not of a type supplied to any member of the royal family. We refuse to send these to the Queen. Please, may one have one of the small Funko figurines thou hast made of one? No, fuck off! Up yours, Queenie. You ain't getting one. Here, we're going to send one to, uh, I don't know, Ving Rhames instead. I liked him in films. Well, there we are. Funko Pops. Right, item number two. Ah, this is more like it. Hang on, I'm going to turn the small light off. Yay. Wrestle Rampage Stretchy Fighters. Sticky and stretchy. Great. Just what I like in my wrestlers. Brilliant. So we've got, uh, I don't know, let's pick some wrestlers from the past. Brutus the Barber Beefcake versus the Ultimate Warrior? I don't know. Directions on back. Directions. To watch your stretchy fighters wrestle, twist and squeeze them together into a ball in your hand. Wow, okay. Now toss them onto a clean, slick surface such as a window mirror or glossy painted wall. Fuck off. That is big time not happening. The last time I threw one of these wall crawler type things at a wall. It horribly stained the paint. Right, let's open them up and have some wrestling. Um, oh, oh, yeah, they're exactly as you would expect. Very, very, I mean, I can't make the detail out of my eye, actually, but yeah, very sticky. Just exactly like those things you would throw at the wall and would crawl down. So, wrestling initiate. Blah, 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 blah. Squeeze it up into a ball. I uh, really hope my hands are sticky for the rest of the video. That'll be handy. And... Wrestling. I mean, I've seen worse wrestling matches, just not very often. Um, come on, make Vince happy, or it'll destroy you all. And yep, yep, yep. again, wrestling commence. Oh, now they're just spooning. Next up, item number three is well, a little bit of. Chewy Heaven with Harry Potter gummy creatures from Wizarding World. Yeah, remember all those books and films and things? Well, this is an edible version apparently. So, my question is, what the bloody hell is it? Because I've seen this many times over the last couple of months and I haven't got a frickin' clue. Like, what is it? Harry Potter absolute mess. Harry Potter Harry Potter, this, this is uh, what became of J.K. Rowling's decency? I don't really know. What, what is this thing? Is it... Oh, hang on. If I get the light on it, I can... So I think it's that, like that three-headed dog, Fluffy or whatever, from the first one. Look, one head, two head, three head, and the legs? Absolutely ridiculous. One of the worst designs of a suite I've ever seen. Which is an odd thing to say, but there we are. Best before November last year. Oh, it's not far up, David. Right. I'm going to bite the dog's bum. That would cheat it. It's the only way they learn. What does it taste of? Oh. Um, fruit? Cherry, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I think it's the top one. Cherry lime. Oh, yes. Choose from Buckbeak, Fang, Fluffy, Hedwig, or Aragog. Yeah, definitely fluffy then, isn't it? It's alright. Vaguely decent. Um... Yeah, it's very standard gummy stuff. Just put into the worst shape I have ever seen a sweet put into. Genuinely. I've said it twice, and I bloody mean it. Oh god, the light's fallen over. We're doomed, we're doomed. That's alright. I've saved us all. Right, <clears throat> next up. 
sushi key rings. This was like a blind bag thing, and I genuinely wanted these really cool looking uh, sushi key ring type things to put keys on, because it really looked like proper sushi, and I got the most boring one out of the bloody lot. For starters, one's just some rice, it looks pretty good. The other one, I mean, the colouring of it doesn't quite work, so it doesn't look as realistic. I don't know, it was a big disappointment. I wanted something, you know, cool, like a sushi roll stuff, and what did I get? One matted, slightly disturbingly over-realistic load of rice, and something that just doesn't look the part at all. Poof. Poof. But you don't know the absolute worst thing? I'm a 44-year-old man who was disappointed that he didn't get the sushi key ring he wanted, and now he's moaning about it on the internet. But you know what's even worse than that? You're watching him do it. Right, <clears throat> next item. A little bit of a blast from the past, this one, by which I mean it's fucking ancient. I think this goes back to 1999. I've never found a place to actually mention it. Yo, yo, www, yep, still relatively early days of the internet. It's a yo-yo from friendfactory.co.uk, which does not exist anymore. Do not go to that URL. It could be full of viruses or something. I've got no idea. Yeah, so promotional um, yo-yo for a website called Friend Factory, which if I recall, well, let's, let's go through the stuff and then I'll tell you what I remember of it. While you're at Friend Factory, take some time to explore. You'll find communities on films, wine, cars or sci-fi, and there's plenty of room for expansion. If you can't find what you're looking for, why not start your own community? You've got the passion, we've got the tools. The only limit to the fun is your own imagination. A lot of things say that, it's usually a lie. To get the most out of your yo-yo, simply visit pioneers.friendfactory.com. Yo-yo, what? Bloody weird. Got a passion for yo-yos? Yo He's talking about yo-yos. Seek advice, sharing tricks, yo-yos. So, Friend Factory was like an attempt by Sony, yep, it's a Sony thing, to come up with, for some reason, a UK-centric, maybe they're just trialling it here first, um, sort of proto-social media thing. It was all text chat, live chat, and you had to download its own sort of client programs. So you couldn't do it in a web browser or anything, because back in 1999, those things were a little bit too primitive. So you could download this thing and then just sort of chat to anyone else who downloaded it. But frankly, there were easier ways of doing chat, text chat back then, and it didn't really catch on. Um, the only reason I knew of it, in fact, was they employed a friend of mine to uh, sort of moderate chat and uh, be a host on one of the channels. And yeah, that's it. That was Friend Factory. It sort of came and it went, and I've never spoken to anyone else who remembers it, except the friend who worked for them. Um, it's, yeah, such an odd thing. That early, the early days of the web, when the adoption was really going through the roof, they still hadn't quite worked out A, what they wanted to do with it, and B, how to do that. Ah, oh, well. Back in your box with you, and I'll get you out again in another 21 years. And I imagine the string will have gone funny by then. Oh, well, there's a time, in it. Next up, some stuff from Wish.com. So, I went to Wish, and I saw on there... That's not true, I looked at the website, I didn't actually go to, like, their big office in Shenzhen. That'd be a bit of a trek, wouldn't it? And uh, to cut a long story short, they had what looked like the heads of those really expensive collectible figurines, like the 12-inch ones by Hot Toys and stuff. And I thought, oh my god, they're on there for like three or four quid. They look amazing, amazing, amazing in the thumbnail, but you order these things and they're going to be absolutely dreadful, aren't they? And the answer was no. <laughs> They're absolutely fantastic. In fact, right, I'm moving this light now. The light has been moved. Um, they actually are the ones off Hot Toys, I think. I shit you not. So I ordered three. Old Arnie, Mr. Schwarzenegger himself, the governator. I will return to this place, is his famous catchphrase. Um, now, I, now we do need the front light, don't we? Oh, ooh. That's not good. There's something rattling inside it. No wonder it's been so bloody noisy. Right. How do we turn it on again? There's the button. It didn't do anything. There we are. Uh, uh, uh. And finally, we get to bask in the glory of Arnie. I think this is off like a Predator figurine. It's certainly that era, anyway. But as you can see, it's superbly sculpted, brilliantly painted, it's even got glossy eyes, and looks fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. I was expecting to get, as I say, some sort of knockoff one that looked nothing like um, Arnold whatsoever, or at the very least a poorly painted one, but no. It's bloody fantastic. And I also got one of Bruce Willis from Die Hard. This is a less realistic sculpt, but still pretty good, I would have said. Still pretty good. 
a bit of cuts on his face where old Hans Gruber has been putting him through the mill. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you can tell who it is. It's good, it's good. Not as realistic, but still good. And finally, almost creepily realistic, one of Ray from, uh, I don't know, Force Awakens, this one probably? I don't know. One, one of those films where she's in. It's a really odd expression they've given her, though. She looks kind of haunted and distracted, a bit like she's just read the script to Rise of Skywalker and realises she has to act it out. Palpatine? Uh, yes, it's really bloody good. But there we are, they got, they were deliberately bought for a video to show how sort of, um, oh my god, they sell them like this, but they're dreadful, but no, they were bloody excellent. So now all I have to do is save up £40 billion pounds to buy the bodies for them, and then I can have... Good God, is that... <sighs> The reboot of The Three Stooges was not what anybody expected. Um, yeah, so I just use these as occasional props for things, really. What more do you want out of life? The answer is, not this bastard. <laughs> I would um, show you this more subtly, but let's face it, I know already this is going to be the thumbnail. Welcome to the concept of Fugglers. Funny, ugly monster. Warning, do not shake contents. Don't tell me what to do, you fascist! This mischievous little creature within may generate excessive excitement with its unpredictable personality. No, I'm pretty sure it's dead. Sleep with your mouth closed and one eye open. Adopt at your own risk. Yeah. The joke being, they're very ugly, um, cuddly toys. Mostly because of the disturbingly realistic teeth, frankly. Four plus years. Yep. That's right. Every five-year-old wants one of these. And that's... Oh, hang on. There's something in the bottom. Oh, I've got an adoption certificate, like it's a bloody Cabbage Patch Kid or something. Right, that's going to the side. Away with you. Ah, there we are. It's a raccoon, except I think the raccoon has died, and like it looks like all its skin has pulled back around its mouth, where the, the decomposition is setting in. I don't, don't really know. It's, it's, it was very cheap, and it's very well made. It's made up of a very sort of thick material. It's got a jolly... <laughs> it's got a button on its anus! Da -da 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 -da. Why? Um, yeah, well, there we are. Terrifying, terrifying raccoon. All it wants is a kiss, but in an attempt to kiss you, it will... But Oh, my God. It's like something for a dentist who you don't like. <laughs> ang, 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 ang. Bite on the pencil. Bite on the... Oh, I can't get it to work. Uh, but, oh, well... Well, there we are. For a second, it was beautiful. What a bloody thing that is. My God. Um, yeah. If you did want to buy one of these for your small child, um, don't, is my recommendation. Right. <clears throat> what have we got next? Ooh, next up, something of interest. It's got this off old Kickstarter bloody ages ago. Boom! It is a really nice Cthulhu model. Ooh, Cthulhu. It actually says in the Call of Cthulhu how to pronounce it. Something like Cthulhu, isn't it? I can't remember. Anyway, this came in a very, very bright green colour, which just didn't work for me. So it was luminous, Fisher Pricey sort of green. So I sprayed it dark green, stuck some varnish on, and yeah, this is pretty bloody cool. I love the little extra hands in the prayer motion at the top, and his beard made out of horrifying tentacles. Yep, one of Lovecraft's old ones. The most famous one. In his house at Roulier, dead Cthulhu waits dreaming? Lies dreaming? Dead Cthulhu? Ah, I can't remember the exact words. I'll tell you what I can remember. Even the bottom of it has cool stuff on. Look, like an Elder Sign type thing. Really like this. I think it's a really nice model. Um, and Kickstarter's got a nice way to get stuff like this made. I back a lot of Kickstarter as well, because I do crowdfunding. It's, it's a bit bloody cheeky to take other people's money for it, and then not that bloody light. <laughs> to take other people's money for it, and then not uh, pay other people for it. That'd be a bit evil, wouldn't it? But do you remember my favourite thing about this? It's not just made as a model. <sighs> it's supposed to be in scale with the standard size... <laughs> <laughs> War game miniatures, I absolutely love it. So you you could just hide this and then bust it out in the middle of like a game of Hero Quest or something. <laughs> just, and now you must fight this. It rolls 40 billion dice every three seconds, regardless of what you do. Incidentally, if you're wondering what this little white fella here is, it is Medieval Chef Excellence, which uh, I made from a site called Hero Forge and then 3D printed out. Must do a 3D printing video soon. I've got various bits and bobs ready for that. But uh, yeah, there we are. If you are going to play a classic Warhammer or Hero Quest game, why not do it in excellent style? Ah, uh, 
There's nothing as excellent as a chef, except perhaps, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, yeah. oh. I'm messing about, it's not heavy at all. A Ghostbusters trap model, and not a bad one at all. Look, it's got all the bits on it. It's got weathered effect. Something I really appreciate, by the way, it says Ghostbusters on that side, but also this side. So you can display which way round you want, because if you actually take it off and switch it, it wouldn't be in the middle. There you see, attention to detail. Yeah, really nice thing, this. Um, obviously, it's one of the ghost traps that they throw under the spooky nasties and then suck them down into it and then put them into the containment unit. And then Walter Peck comes along and opens it all up because he doesn't have a penis. If you haven't seen the film, you wonder what the hell I'm on about this stage. It does make sense, honest. Um, but it's an incense burner. It's not just a model. Do you know, I was wondering to myself why it has wheels. Then I remembered they actually throw the one in the film under something. Don't they? Oh, so obvious in hindsight. So you open it up. And look inside, there's a little hole to pop in a bit of incense. I've got a bag of them here, actually. A bag I really wish I'd opened up earlier, but I didn't. There we are, pop your incense in, and then all the steam and smoke will come out, you see, you see. Also something I appreciate is uh, you can also open it like the ones in the film and just get straight into it. Ah, uh, you see, you see. I'm gonna stop saying that now, because <clears throat> I'm sure you do see, as this is a primarily visual medium. Do you know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm going to, oh, release the safety catch. No, it's not catching. Damn you, incense. You will burn, you will burn. There we are. And we shall come back to that in a bit and see what it looks like. Oh yes, you can see that coming out. So this is much clearer to the naked eye, but you can also, oh actually it's really clear on the camera now as well. A good bit of the old smoke coming out as if you've just caught an evil spook. Ooh, oh, that's working really well actually. And you can let it all out once if you particularly want to. And it's making the room smell of a fairly nice, fairly understated incense. Actually, that's quite pleasant. Um, these are made by Numskull. You can buy them from their website. I'll, st I'll stick a link below in case you want one, because I believe these are currently on sale. If I'm wrong and they all sold out years ago, sorry, it's too late now. And finally, something that I fear I may have shown before. Not entirely sure I did, and I'm not entirely sure when, but do you know what? I'm going to show it again, because it looks like something you might stick up your ass. Yes! Computer Virus Digits by Drew Oliver, made with the ones and zeros of binary code. Actually, it's made out of some sort of black rubber, I think. Worm. Worm. Let's get the light in. Worm. That made things worse. Let's get rid of that. Worm. Um, so the concept is... A worm is a malevolent program that can spontaneously generate numerous copies of itself to travel around the internet and wreak havoc. Mm. The first worm was an experimental self-replicating program named Creeper. True. Well, yeah. I mean, there was like a various... Uh, oh, well, that's off then. Oh, fair enough. Um, various key rings made of various different naughty computer virus type things, but this is the worm. It's got eyes, it's got glittery antenna, and let's be brutally honest here, it does appear to be a sex toy for putting up your bum bum. That's a very odd design. Thank you for that, Drew Oliver. You can't tell me that escaped you during the design process. Anyway, so that was 10 items, which I never quite found a home for in a video, but now they've all come together and formed a sickening gelatinous mass that you have just watched. God, the internet's weird, isn't it? Boy, boy, boy.